mini truck time. There's the valves. There's the box. I'm working on making my little tabs. Basically, I'm just gonna weld these in at certain points. I've got a line there, a line there, a line here, a couple lines there. And I'm just gonna put them in there and I'm gonna weld them in and then I'll wrap zip ties around them to hold them in. That way I can take it out easy, put it back in easy. So now I'm gonna get to uh, cutting these off and uh, see if we can get them tack welded in. All right, got the first coat of black on. It's not mirror finish, but it's covered. And that's, I mean, it's gonna be underneath the truck. So that's really all I'm worried about. These are gonna go together and probably scratch each other anyway. I did get the tabs welded on the inside of the bottom. So then that way, those can be mounted up. Had my welding table set up again. <laughs> this time I put a clamp on it so it wouldn't move around on me. So that works. Now I just need to, I need to check to see if I've got some elbows because I need to, I'll have to run the airlines into there. Once that dries partially, I need to figure out a way to hang it up so I can spray the inside of it. So that's next. All right, I already attached both front airlines and got them ran on the bottom of the uh, cab and got both front lines coming in right here. Got it zip tied and then nice and clean up into here. A little transition. I'm actually putting one airline on top of the other one because I don't like the way they look right here twisted. There. That makes it look nicer. And then it goes around that corner. So the only zip tie is this one right here and it's barely visible. And then it'll run to there. I'll have the power wire. It's gonna go to here. And then I'll run it behind this straight down and under. And then attach to this one, I'll put a loop on the positive from here and go under over to this one. And that'll help clean up all the wiring for the compressors. Uh, I'll have this line right here goes straight over here for the uh, switch box and that'll be able to make it and curve into the box there and then I've got my two airlines for the front going here all I got to do is run from this one it'll go like that and it'll basically just run up into this zip tie to this and then run the length and then I'll tee it in with that one and that'll go in so I'll have three airlines going in and the uh, uh, switch wire or the only wires are going to go into it and then I'll have well I was going to go from the from the box all the way back out for the pressure switch but I can actually tee off of this one the feed line there's a feed line that's going to go up here and go that way well if I go to here and I put a T on it I can bring the feed line for the bags. It'll be a quarter inch line going back to the switch box for the bags. Well, I'll put a T right here so it comes up to here. It'll feed the that and then I'll have a, a single airline going from that T back into the cab for the, uh, for the uh, uh, pressure switch. So that'll work for that very, very nicely. And it'll start looking really, really clean. These boxes are been sitting out in the sun, so they should be just about dry. I don't think there's going to be, no, there's no tackiness to them. I will put a uh, towel on here, whatever. I'll flip them over and then uh, kind of spray the interior. And then uh, my wife always has out of, you know, when, when, when you buy a bag, a suitcase or whatever, and it comes with that little pouch of uh, moisture catcher or whatever my wife doesn't throw any of them away she's got a tub full of them i'm gonna take her biggest ones that she have and i'm gonna put them into the uh, inside of the switch box down at the bottom so that way any excess moisture that accumulates inside that box will actually get drawn up by that and then it'll dry out over time when i'm not using the truck 
and uh, the moisture will be able to escape out of the box. I mean, that's a given. But uh, I need to put some type of, uh, I need to find a headlight that's got one of those little rubber pieces that's on the back that goes down. What that is, is that's so that the moisture in the box in the headlight can get out. So I can put that at the top of the box, aim down, any moisture that rises up through the box will come out of that uh, escape. So that'll be good. Just about got this figured out. Now I just gotta figure, well I really gotta figure out the inside of the box considering some of the stuff that I'm not gonna have going in there. All I'm gonna have is a quarter inch supply going in to feed the switch box and that's it. So that's good. That, that really takes care of a lot of different things that I was worried about on how I was gonna connect everything inside the box. So I'll have four quarter inch lines going through, which I have grommets for all that. I just gotta figure out which grommets I need, the quarter inch grommets, and I think of three eighths, five eighths, something like that. All right, let's see what else I can get done on this for now. All right, got the pressure line, pressure switch going right there. Everything else is nice and neat. Over to here, I've got this bag leading right up into there. I've got uh, the uh, air supply coming from the tanks coming up this way. And then that goes across. This is teed in right there. And then I end up with four lines. You've got uh, right front and left front and the rear and the pressure, uh, uh, the uh, supply coming. But everything else, it just looks a whole lot cleaner now coming across there. Everything is nice and tucked. Once I get these mounted into these two spots here, and then I've got that T right there so that they all go, so they both go into right there. And then like I said, I've got the power line already ran. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's just got to come back here, link to this one, and then I'll do a loop over and link it to this one. That way the wiring will be underneath all of this right here. And most of that wiring won't be seen except for the, uh, the supply lines coming from the compressors. And then I'll have that box right up in there and it'll hang there. Speaking of box, I turned them over. Got the insides painted, but they don't have to be anywhere near perfect. Because it's it's basically just to keep it covered. So that's it. I am beat. It's actually still Sunday, and you just saw the video of me working on this thing. So I'm tired. Everybody else is asleep over there. So I'm done. It's too. We're supposed to go to our cruise night. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm. Just about to fall over. Please subscribe, you have subscribe. Comment at the bottom. Give me some thumbs up. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next weekend. Hopefully I can mount the box, get some holes drilled, get those four airlines and the power supply for the switches or all the switch wires in. And that'll be it. I just got I'll just have to wire everything together. Later guys.